Hi, my name is Molly Worth, and this is my breakthrough application video. I'm doing a lesson plan on context clues, and this is my friend Maggie, who will be playing my student in this lesson. Okay. Hi, Maggie. Today we're going to be talking about context clues. When you're reading a book, do you often come across words that you don't recognize? Yes. Yes, we all do, and, I'm sh it, and it gets confusing, so you're not sure what to do when you stumble across a word that you don't know. With context clues, it's helpful because when looking at words surrounding a mystery word, you'll be able to use um, clues to figure out what this word means in a sentence. All right, so let's look at this sentence. This is an example one. Could you read this aloud for me? Maggie is usually energetic, but today she is lethargic. Great, okay. So in this sentence, lethargic is the word that we don't know. This is a challenging word, and we're going to try and figure out what it means by just looking at the words in the sentence surrounding it. All right. So Maggie is usually energetic. What does energetic mean? Full of energy. Exactly. All right, so Maggie is usually energetic, but today she is lethargic. In this sentence, the but stands out to me the most because it tells me that Maggie is usually one way, but today she is feeling different. All right, now I wrote down a couple answers that could be correct. Do you think lethargic means happy, tired, or hyper? Tired. Tired. Okay, that makes sense because tired is a very different than energetic. All right, Maggie, could you read aloud the sentence, but put in tired into the sentence instead of lethargic? Maggie is usually energetic, but today she is tired. Does that make sense? Yes. Perfect. Okay, then it works. Lethargic does mean tired. You figured that out. Nice job. Okay, so now we're going to try a second one. So you did great on that first example. Could you read this one again? The scented rain made it difficult to see. Maria meant to turn onto 12th Street, but she inadvertently turned onto Privet Drive instead. Okay, great. All right, so in this one, the challenge word is inadvertently, which is a long, difficult sounding word, but we'll be able to figure it out pretty easily, I think. Okay, so these are the choices for what inadvertently could mean, either purposefully, accidentally, or joyfully. Which one do you think inadvertently might mean if you're reading this sentence? Accidentally. Excellent. Why, why is that? What words stand out to you? Meant to. Could you underline meant to for me? Great job. Okay. So, Maggie, you picked right up on it. We found an important word like but in the last sentence, which helps us understand this because we know that heavy rain made it difficult for her to see. And Maria meant to do one thing, but she did something else instead. So she wouldn't have purposely done this if she meant to do it, and or joyfully. So accidentally does make sense. You picked up on that. All right, to check our work like we did before, let's try putting accidentally back into the sentence instead of inadvertently and see if it makes sense. Could you read it aloud for me? The heavy rain made it difficult to see. Maria meant to turn onto 12th Street, but she accidentally turned onto Pyramid Drive instead. Does that make sense? Yes. Perfect. Okay, you figured it out. And just to check, let's try and put in a word that's not correct. See if that one also would make sense. How about joyfully? Could you read the sentence and put joyfully into the sentence instead of inadvertently? The heavy rain made it difficult to see. Maria meant to turn onto 12th Street, but she joyfully turned onto Privet Drive instead. Does that make sense? Not really. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me either because if she, she obviously made a mistake turn onto a wrong street, so why would she feel joyful about that? So you picked it up exactly. So yeah, you figured it out, good job.